strikes by my window hits my chest right in the morning like a warning could have slept here for days i felt your heart beat felt your mouth real but it's not real we were close to see the sun but clouds got in our way and so All right, let's get a mic check. Can you guys hear me all right? Get started in just a second, as long as you guys can hear me. Rihanna, Twins, Jerry, Shining, you guys all say yes? All right, thank you. Hey guys, this is exciting. Um, welcome to the stream. Welcome back if you've been here before, um, and welcome if you're if you're new and this is your first stream. We are streaming. This is not Burning Shores prep anymore. This is the Burning Shores. So <laughs> I'm super excited for this. Um, yes, Jerry, I am grinning. Um, I had a little bit of trouble getting this going. I got to be honest with you guys. Um, I got the email at 5 a.m. this morning. I'm U.S. I'm U.S. Mountain Time, and uh, got the review code this morning from Sony and PlayStation. So thank you, Sony and PlayStation, for sending me a review code. Very nice of them. Um, 
and thanks to Gorilla for obviously making this DLC for all of us. Um, but I had a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue. I kind of screwed myself because I got nervous yesterday that I didn't have the code yet. So I bought a regular pre-order and downloaded it, you know, pre-downloaded and everything. And then when, when I went to set up the code this morning, it uh, was conflicting with the pre-order. So I had to get on the phone with PlayStation and they had to cancel my pre-order, but we got it all figured out now. So I just double checked it. Um, I haven't played anything yet, except I did load the game just to make sure that it was working. And uh, it was, I you know, got the little tech, the focus message from Silence. And so uh, we're all good. Now we're gonna be streaming this, but at the same time, um, I'm gonna be recording it in 4K with my, like just the game will be recorded. So you can, if you wanna watch it later, I'll upload this as a regular video in 4K with like with my face cam not in there and no overlays and stuff. So if you want to watch it back later, there'll be the re recorded stream, which is in 1440p. So we're in 1440p right now if you want to uh, watch it on a larger screen or increase your resolution. But then there'll also be a 4K version recorded as a regular video that I'll upload later. Um, but let's just get into it, guys. Let me uh, Let me switch scenes here. I'll show you what it kind of looks like when you load everything up. And we'll get going. You guys should have game audio now. Gabriel, it's lagging a bit for you. Um, it should smooth out here. I don't see any errors on my side. Okay, so this is the new screen here. Um, you get burning shores with the lava in the background and everything. And then basically all you need to do is go to your load game. You could go to continue if you're using just an auto save, but I'm gonna load this manual save, which is the one we've been using for the recent playthroughs on stream. And we'll get started. Be there when I can. <laughs> Fine. Be there when I can. Okay. So there's some things to check here, right? Let's open the menu. Oh, <laughs> look at this. So we have new. These look like valor surges in every skill tree. Warrior's vigor. Bolster your resolve and deal more damage with your spear and warrior bows. Gain health from damage dealt with either weapon type, either, oh, your spear and your warrior bow. Okay. Goes up to 100% bonus and you get a health, health back when you do it. Elemental spear, deal damage with your spear by attaching elemental capsules from your hunter's kit. Interesting. Attaching elemental capsules. So you do like a resonator blast that has an elemental component to it, I guess. That's really interesting. Warrior's Instinct, increase your awareness of weakened enemies and the duration they're knocked down. Interesting. So it just keeps them down longer, I guess. So these are active skills. And then this is the Valor Surge. So we have to unlock both of those. And it looks like it's going to let me use my existing skill points to do it. These each cost two. Let's check out some of the other ones. Trident. 
trap mines. Wasn't it called Minefield in the trailer, though? So maybe that's a different one. Trap mines. Special mode in your focus. Equip a throwable mine that splits into multiple traps on impact. So you get four with 350 damage per each one. Four and then five. Oh, ten. Ten traps deployed? These are going to be fun to play with. So they are kind of like the Scorcher traps. They levitate. Oh yeah, good point, guys. My ghost levels are gone. So I was level 102, and now I'm back down to 50. So I assume that's because we're going to go up to 60. Rope caster expert, when a machine recovers from the tie-down state, shoot another rope to instantly tie it down again for a short duration. That's pretty sweet. I feel like rope casters are a little bit OP already, but that's going to make it even more strong. Smoke bomb heal. Gradually regain health while inside a healing smoke bomb's cloud. A healing smoke bomb. Is that what it said? So there's specific types of smoke bomb, or is it just any smoke bomb? A healing smoke bomb. Interesting. Hunter's Mark. Special mode in your focus. Your next several shots with any hunter bow will mark your targets. Mark's targets have an increased chance of receiving critical hit damage. Destroying a target's component, destroy a target's component to cause an explosion that deals extra damage. Wow. Critical hit chance 10%, component destruction damage 100, 20 and 200, 30 and 300. And you get 600 shock damage to all other marked targets. That's a really interesting one. Good for groups of machines. Machine Grapple Strike gained the ability... Oh, so this is the one we've seen in the uh, promotional video. Grapple Strike Machines. Tap X while jumping within range of a knockdown machine to perform a grapple strike. Slow down time and quick draw your weapon when aiming during a glide. Oh, that is cool. The Spectre Gauntlet while gliding. So we, oh, we do get to use that. Look at that. She's using the Zenith tech. It's called a Spectre Gauntlet. Wow. Yeah, Twinge, I think it is a little bit like Chain Burst. That last one. Defy Death. Consume a special potion to deal more damage and gain a second chance while reducing your maximum health to critical health levels. A special potion. So this is like low health state on steroids. You actually consume something to make yourself go into the low health state. When the Valor Surge ends, regain health up to the critical health threshold. You get a 15% increase on level 1, 30 on level 2, and 50 on level 3. And when the Valor Surge ends, status effects are cleansed, and you gain 30% damage resistance for 5 seconds. Interesting. Shield drop, gain the ability to craft and deploy drop shields. What are these? So these are like the trip caster shields, it looks like. But you can just pop them like traps or like smoke bombs. That's really cool. That could that would be a lot more useful than using the trip caster. You don't have to use a whole weapon slot for that. Low health stamina, regain weapon stamina faster when you're in the critical health state. That's pretty cool. So th th these are kind of low health... Low health things right here. Fans of the low health playstyle will be happy. Berserk Blast. Attach a special module to your spear and immediately trigger a powerful blast that causes all nearby enemies to enter the Berserk state. Interesting. That could make it somewhat more viable to use that. Blast radius and effect duration increases as you go up. And at level 3, they receive 10 damage per second and are, and are confused when the effect wears off. Oh, good. I got the stream elements bot working. So that bot in the chat, guys, should should share like my the Discord link and then Instagram and um, Twitter as well as we go here. Silent strikes build up resonator energy faster and deal more damage when your spear is fully charged. That's pretty straightforward. Stealth Resonator. 
sharp shot expert sharp shot bows are less inaccurate while you're walking or crouching ooh but it's an active skill I guess that just means it's active while you're aiming, right? It's not a weapon technique. It's an active skill. Did we have did we have active skills before? Was that a thing? We had passive boosts, weapon techniques, and valor surges. Oh, workbench expert, active skill, yeah. So it's just I think this operates while you're aiming, basically. So in that sense, it's sort of passive. Yeah, twinge, weird language, less inaccurate. Why not just more accurate? I don't know. More accurate would be more succinct in English, I think. Okay, override overdrive. Powered by a special mode in your focus, all overridden machines emit arcs of electricity to nearby enemies, deal more damage, take damage over time, and explode upon death. Whoa. Damage increase and explosion radius increases as you go up. Resonator refill. Overriding a machine instantly energizes your spear. That's cool. Flying grapple launch. Oh, so you can use the sun wing or the water wing. Uh, we got to get a water wing. You can use them as a grapple point, basically, to launch yourself in combat. That's pretty sweet. It's like a dynamic um, grapple point. So no skills here that like allow the water wing to dive. Seems like that's just going to be an inherent ability of the water wing. All right. Looks like we still have two weave slots on all our outfits. That hasn't changed. Three coil slots for purples. Five slots for golds. I don't know off the top of my head if any of these stats have changed. Hard to say. I'm sure we'll figure that out over time. We don't see... Where the DLC map will connect yet. Twinge, can I check the weapon wheel to see if my ammo types are reversed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are reversed. Weird. Why would they do that? Yeah, like the advanced frost arrows were down here before. Now they're up here. And the strike throughs were down here these were swapped what a weird change i don't know why you do that let's try it oh we don't have the skill we can't do it right now paris no i have not looked at the pre-order items yet I'm actually a little bit nervous I don't get them because I got a review code and not a regular pre-order, but typically when they send review codes, you get that as well. Hang on, I actually forgot to start. I forgot to start my source record. So we're going now. I'm going to have to cut that together later. That's all right. It looks like 30 FPS to you, Kaz. Um, yeah, I am getting a couple little warnings coming in and out here on YouTube that the bitrate might be a little low, little low. Not sure why that is. Everything in OBS looks okay. Hopefully that'll smooth out here on its own. Okay, the other thing I was going to do was I'm going to turn my reticle back on. And for anybody who's wondering, I'm using an all purple loadout because I'm a little nervous that an all legendary loadout is going to make this a little too easy. So I've got the Seeker, Regala's Wrath, um, the Corrosive Blastling. I've been using the Lightning Hunter bow, but I decided to go for the Corrosive Blastling so that we have some um, 
acid as well. And we still have purge water that way. We'll just lose access to shock arrows, but we have shock on the shredder gauntlet. Vindicator spike thrower, relentless bolt blaster, and the thunderbolt shredder. And actually, I'm going to grab the death rattle instead of the bolt blaster for now. Oh, and then my outfit is the Nora Valiant, but then I went for low health coils. So it's kind of a hybrid here. Okay, so he said to go to Tilda's, I think. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, guys, if you're wondering how I'm playing early, I have a review code from from Sony, from PlayStation. Um, I reached out to them a couple months ago to ask if I could get one, and they were kind enough to offer one to me. So that's how we're able to play a little bit early. It's um, 1 o'clock my time here, mountain time in the U.S. Whoops, we passed it. And uh, normally I think it would be 10 o'clock tonight. Paris, you want to take a look at the upgrade table? I got a shelter. Doesn't look like it's going to let me any upgrade any of my weapons further. These are all fully upgraded. Same thing with outfits. Closer to the appearance is um, the Blazon with the Stormbird Skies die. Thought that'd be a nice Burning Shores theme because Aloy's hair is red and the outfit's blue, right? For Burning Shores. You guys are getting lag, huh? Um... Let's see what we can do about that. Hang on a second. Yeah, do we see any new potions yet? No. All the pouches are still fully upgraded. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why there's lag for some people. Um, it looks okay on my end. I think the only thing I could do to try and remedy that would be to restart the stream, and I don't, I don't know that we want to do that right now. Um, ZTM, we, they did patch infinite jumping. So the 1.21 patch, this isn't a wall I can do it on. Um, but the 1.21 patch that you need removed infinite jump, so you can't infinite jump out of the arena anymore. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to check something to see if somebody's, like, downloading something on my internet. That might be why the stream is a little bit laggy. Hang on one second.
Okay, are we back here? Can you guys hear me? Can you hear my PlayStation? All right, great. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> I just left to ask my wife to stop uploading some files and then I lost audio. I couldn't hear anything. Um, no idea what happened there, guys. Sorry. Let's try this again. Where's my manual save? Just get a couple things pulled up here. Fine. I'll be there when I can. All right. Okay, I think things should be all set now. Let's go to Tilda's. You guys should have game audio now. I think you guys should have game audio now. Um, Ludbud, yes. I'm also actually recording this stream in 4K. So there'll be a VOD of the stream later. And then there'll also be a 4K recording that has like my face cam and everything removed. Hey, John, thanks for the super. I appreciate that. Um, so there'll be two ways to watch it back later if you can't catch everything now. All right, everybody says things look good. The audio is a little bit quiet. I'll turn it up a little bit. Let's go find silence and head to the burning shores. Go to the south on, on my map. Why? Just to look south? I don't think we'll be able to see anything. Here he is. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? 
that together you could save the planet, just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch, luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world, when in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scourge of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes. It appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. Walter, eh? Walter's our, our enemy. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Well, I believe our best option is to unearth powerful technologies from the Zeniths, the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. Surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It will be a long search, I fear. So Landra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base, but he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. Mm. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Although he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. Yuck. How many times did Ashley Birch have to do that line? So where do you think Londra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. <laughs> a hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company Heaven Sent was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? To the burning shores. Yes. Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Oh, Silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. <laughs> Alright guys, the stream should be running smoothly now. Hey, Hopefully Lloyd. it is. I hope I haven't caught you in the middle of fighting a giant machine or something. <laughs> hey, Veda, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. Will do. Thanks. So is this map disconnected, I wonder?
This is it. Laundra's headquarters shouldn't be far. Okay, that can't be good. Shit! flying just now yeah just uh not my best landing damn more machines stay back i'll handle this hold on i can help too let's see what you got What are these pink things back here? Oh, those aren't my advanced ones. We got quite a few machines here. That was a post. The health bar looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit flatter, doesn't it? Oh, she's roping him down. Nice one, Seika. jumped right over it. All right, just let me talk to Seika. Oh, you know how to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could uh, say the same about you. You have, you have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin on the hill northeast of here. That's where I was headed. Ruin on the hill. 
You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Oh yes, we can help each other, Seiko. Hold on. Most definitely. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. I want to look around this area. This way. Okay. Follow me. All right, what is this pink stuff? We'll have to take my skiff to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? Oh, cool, man. It's like a... It's like a beefed up version of Fire Gleam. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't go underneath it. Or near it. That's cool. All right, are these new variants at all? That's just a wide maw. Wide maw. Apex burrower. Don't think they're new machines. Looks like you can still do the speed running uh, slide canceling. Look at this lava. smoke looks so good so i guess you can you can walk on this without getting hurt obviously if we walk on real lava i assume we're gonna get hurt yeah we'll find that obsidian jerry are there any new traps some usually you unlock new types of traps and stuff by looting them Wait a sake ago. That's pretty cool. Oh, has a pretty big blast radius. All right, let's find Seika. Oh, there she is. God, guys, it's disconnected. It's disconnected. I totally thought the Hoover Dam was going to break up here and flood down, down the river and take us down here. It's a completely disconnected map. Let's take another look at that. So if I zoom out all the way, it fills up my whole screen here. So it's maybe a little bit bigger than like all of the Plainsong region. Yeah, how are we going to get the water wing home, Jerry? How are we going to get back and forth between the two there parts of the map? I just need to attach this component I picked up. Hold tight seen a boat like that before. Me and a gear head back at the settlement roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. This gift's good to go. Hop in. Look at this boat. Interesting. Sit down on skiff. Take me for a boat ride, Seiko. Oh no. Not another one. Whoa, Whoa that thing just sat like the I stormbird. Said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay, casting off. I'm sorry, oh. I'm not looking at chat so sure much, guys. Sure beats I gotta experience I've this. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the Great Ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. See, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. 
And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Fleet's end. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall. If you guys are new to the stream, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Okay. Happy to have all of you. Here, here. we go. Fleet's end. Here it is. Do we get to drive this boat though? I like Seika's, like, cape she's got. Looks like wings. I don't know anything further. May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Huh. Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. <laughs> Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral, not a compliance officer. <laughs> By all means. Stole the focus. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. She stole it's the not focus. Our best day. Admiral Garrett. It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus, the eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us in direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a diviner. No one else. Staker's actions are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Talk to the hand, buddy. <laughs> Outlander, I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm. That was a nice... Hmm. He's got a good grunt. Damn them. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator. Our only means of getting home. I've got to find her. Even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I... I understand. Maybe more than you know, but 
For now, I think we need to calm down I and just calm. You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower... Seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Mm. Oh, great. Well... Seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. Lots of points here. Well, you're a good fighter, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't know much about you. There's not much to tell. Nothing special about me. Except my sister is pretty well known among my people. You don't seem so ordinary to me. I was just a petty officer until we ran aground. But we lost a lot of midshipmen and lieutenants to the storm and the wreck. And now even more of them are missing. So I've been trying to step up and help the Admiral. It took a lot of guts putting on that focus. Seems to me he needs more like you. Huh. <laughs> Tell that to rang in his toadies. Rang. So your sister is a navigator? More like THE navigator. The only Quen who can steer by the stars without instruments. She reads the sky like a scroll. Knows every constellation by position, no matter how much it spins around up there, which means she's been an Imperial favorite ever since her first exam. One of the fleet's most precious assets. And now she's gone. She and the others just... Disappeared? After we made landfall, the hard way, the Admiral sent out scouting expeditions with the very few boats we had left. Not one of them returned. I don't know what happened to them all, but I do know it has something to do with that tower. And Starlight Rise. What was that thing floating up there? We're agreed on that. Is there anything else you can tell me about that tower? It just appeared one day a couple of weeks ago after our scout boats went missing. And it shoots at anything in the sky or sea. Machines, boats, you. Okay, don't remind me. I tried to get <laughs> near it, but it's mounted on a tall ruin with machines all around. On the plus side, its range is limited. I've been testing it with my skiff and setting up buoys to mark the radius. Can't tell if that's smart or reckless. Both, maybe. I'll admit there have been a couple of near misses. What exactly did you find on that Diviner's Focus? When the scout boat sent by the Admiral didn't return, he sent our very last one to find out what happened to them. Diviner Vi was on board. They made it as far as Starlight Rise, Went inland and found a camp and a bunch of equipment. It looked like some of our people went into a ruin there. Then they spotted a machine, unlike anything we've seen. Silver and gold moved like a spider. Spooked, they ran back to their boat. They were lucky to escape. I've dealt with those things before. Well, their luck ran out fast. The morning they tried to sail back, the tower went up. Blew them right out of the water. Vi's body washed ashore here sometime later. A friend of mine found it and let me know. The same friend that ratted me out to Rang for taking the focus. But what was I supposed to do? I would have done the same thing. Trust me. My PC's humming away over here, streaming at 1440 and recording at 4K. Hopefully, you guys don't hear that. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though... Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. 
Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. Uh, but yes, you're right, it, it should wait. I didn't know. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then. I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Is that like a Spectre Prime floating up there? Might not be a bad idea to resupply Where before is I meet thing? Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. We can use the skiff. Like, what is that thing? Jerry, you said you can hear my computer? Let me try to push it away so it's quieter. <laughs> Shove it into the corner a little bit more. Oh, a merchant. A hunter merchant. Look at this. Look, 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 look. I have gear for the wild if you need. Shredders. Shredder. Bows. Let's see what he's got. What do you got? What do you got? New legendaries, guys. The Emperor's Reign. Hunter bow. Stealth damage, close range damage, overdraw, knockdown, melee, follow up, advanced hunter arrows, uh, targeting and berserk arrows. Not too interested in that. Brimshine. We need Brimshine to, to buy it. So not um, Obsidian. Brimshine. Eye of the Storm. A new elemental warrior bow. Very cool. Frost, shock, and corrosing, corrosive acid. Instant corroding chance, concentration damage, overdraw, aerial enemy damage. So my rule for myself here, guys, is if I buy new weapons, like I can buy new weapons in the DLC and use them, new legendaries. But my starting loadout is all purple from the original game. Gravesinger's Lament, Sharp Shot Bow. So we have Advanced, Strike Through, and advanced knockdown arrows. A rope caster, legendary rope caster. People wanted that. The tie that binds. So you get advanced ropes and then you get um, exploding canisters and plasma ropes. Did we have exploding canisters before? I'm not sure we did. I'll have to look back at the other ones. Eternal Vengeance Bolt Blaster. Interesting choice. No advanced bolts on that. Regular bolts, piercing bolts, and shock bolts. Melee follow-up, close range. The Dew Shredder. No Frost Shredders on it. Regular advanced and piercing. That's a pretty good lineup, though, for damage. Hopefully there's some more weapons around. Let me, uh, I want to compare the bolt blasters here for a second. Blast Forge. So this, this one's pr strike through or, um, piercing bolts are much stronger than the piercing bolts on the blast forge, but not as strong as the advanced ones. But it has built-in close range. Built-in overdraw. Well, we had that. And a little bit of instant explosion chance. Interesting. Okay. 
Can't buy any of them yet, though. Put my loadout back. This is cool, you walk across, like, rope nets and stuff. Herbalist. Let's see if there's new potions. We saw something about new potions. Doesn't look like she has any new potions. This looks like a side quest. I want a thorough search of all the so compliance is keeping busy. You have no idea. Or maybe you do. Meet me at the burial grounds up the western hill. Okay. Paris, you want to compare the shredders? We can go compare the shredders. Let's see if there's new food. Heard of the ancestors? I think that's new. Weapon stamina plus. Stamina plus. Sour catch. Delta dumplings. You'll grow hungry at some point. I'll we'll have to explore that a little bit more. I'm sure there's other food items. Let's compare this to the final chapter, this shredder, because um, it has no elemental shredders, elemental discs. So the two, the one that it has in common are advanced shredders, and they are stronger than the final chapter. And you get long range damage, knockdown power, that's pretty nice drenched enemy damage that's kind of interesting but you also get an instant drenched chance of four percent and critical hit damage i think that's probably a definitely a more solid option than the final chapter see the rope caster Yeah, I don't... Let me check all my other rope casters. I don't think we had explosive canisters before. So I think that's new. Let's equip this real quick. So, the, the, I mean, the big deal here is it's legendary, so it has five coil slots. That's huge. So the ropes are quite a bit quite a bit stronger. Um, 333 versus 226. So you're going to be able to tie down machines a lot faster with that. Um, I'm, I'm interested to try these explosive canisters. All the elemental canisters have not been great, but 750 damage from a... If you can get a few of those on a machine... That could be pretty solid, potentially. And then it has plasma ropes that are stronger too, but I've never found those particularly useful. All right, let's see if we can find the, uh, the stitcher. See if there's new outfits. New data point here. This note says someone stashed a key they found. It's somewhere in the settlement, near a waterfall. A key near a waterfall, huh? I'll have to check that out. Can we call the Sunwing here? No, we can't. So we're on foot. Let me guess. 
supervisor gave you a hard time. Supervisor was not good to Look at that magma over there. So cool. Oliver, I don't think we're going to see anything new in the machine catalog. Okay, so there's four empty slots. There's four empty machine slots here. That shield wing, it, was, it glitched out on us. That's why we fell. I'm feeling like we need a new one. Feeling like we need a fully functional one. <laughs> Alright, where's the stitcher? New outfits, new outfits, let's see. I'm not sure I have the pre-order bonuses because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have the Quen Commander outfit and also the Black Tide Sharp Shot bow. So this is a warrior style one. All about resonators, spear energy buildup. Quen Marine. An infiltrator outfit. Concentration and stamina. Increased drop shield capacity. That's a new new item for the toolkit. So that one looks pretty solid. We don't know what their weaves are. They're hidden from us there. So we'd have to buy them and upgrade them. We need Brimshine for these two. And the Nora Outlook. Medicine capacity, potent medicine, potent proficiency, low health, regen. So this is kind of a healing tank focused build or outfit, I mean. You know where to find me. A dyer. Let's check out the dyes we can get. I guess we have to get a Quen outfit before we can get any new dyes. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get a Quen outfit. All right, let's go find this skiff. Oh, Doma, that's a good point. We should uh, check the coils and weaves at the merchant. I can't believe I didn't do that. Let's go back up there real quick. So they have draw speed, 25%. Frost, melee follow-up, shocked enemy. Those are all existing. These are new, though. These aren't instants. These are legendary, regular coils. Elite, elite coils. So elite elementals. So this is a combined. Increased frost damage by 15%, which is the regular purple version. The best time type. And then you get a 5% instant chance. That's pretty cool. Increased knockdown power by 15%. Explosive and projectile damage against knockdown enemies by 12 and 15% respectively. Overdraw. Draw speed and overdraw damage. That's pretty sweet. Plasma damage, 15%. A 5% instant chance to enter the plasma blast state and explosive and projectile damage deals an increased 18%. A 
shock coil. Elite tear increases tear damage to armor and external external resources by 12%, which is the same as the purple um, impact or tear damage coils. And tear damage to oh no impact coils and tear damage to weak spots by 25. Why would you want to? Okay, like sacks maybe. Something that might interest you, Huntress. All right, let's go to the skiff. This will break my fall. Paris, you'll take all those coils. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna go back through them later and see which ones I want to grab. Grab first. I'll take them all at some point. see <laughs> how do we get away from the dock here huh. not a bad way to get around we're like stuck on the dock let's leave it here water looks calm enough uh come on Let me see if we get the controls up. So there's some new options here in the menu too, guys. I saw people talking about this on Discord earlier. This is added to the base game. So even if you don't have the DLC, so you can just auto pick up when you run by things. I'm gonna turn that on. Um, let me turn on tutorial notifications. I want the controls for this thing. Good at places any. Back on the water. Oh, R2, okay. I was just steering and it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> look at this look at Aloy driving a boat very cool so th are those like Tide Ripper components that are the motors that's pretty sweet they have buoys out here check this out is this like an explosive or something that's can I use my weapons from here yep so you could just probably cheese machines from this thing. A skiff. Those are the buoys taken mentioned. Better stay on this side of them. We have to stay on the other side of them? Why? Time to go. Oh, because the the tower's gonna oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Wait, but I need the boat. Just chill, Chower, chill. Can we get on this thing from the water? Yeah. Doors, way to get around. Go, 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 go. Leave me alone, Tower. Ah! Holy. Ah! Let me get bark. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Looks calm enough. Dang. <laughs> Look at this storm cloud. Pretty sweet. Wasn't about to leave the boat there. It's pretty quiet. It doesn't make a lot of noise. Burrower 
splashing in the water over there. Having a good time. I guess we don't really need the skiff. We just need to run across the bridge, huh? I just really wanted to drive it. There's the Horus on the Hollywood Maybe sign up there. Later. I'll, I'll see you later, I think. It's not the worst way to get around. Maybe more sailing later. What? Oh, missed the dock. Uh, Jerry, no, I haven't tried that yet. I think it changes like the under like it doesn't let you drown like it doesn't let you like run out of air when you're underwater because that freaks people out these lanterns nice lanterns you guys have Okay, maybe it's time to meet up with Seika and head to the tower. Aloy, over here. All right, guys, so if you're here on stream, stick around. We're going to just keep going, but I am just going to say, do a quick outro here for anybody watching this on the recorded version. Um, this is going to be the end of part one, and if you want to check it out on stream, we'll be streaming it, um, and then the streams will also become part of the, the walkthrough series Should at some we point get moving? in the playlist on my channel. So if you've been watching, thank you guys for watching. If you're here on stream, don't go anywhere. We're going to keep going. Thanks, guys. All right. Talk to hey, Seika. I'm here. So uh, how do we get to the tower? These trails will lead us to it. Take your pick. Okay. Let's go. We have to pick a trail? I don't want to go this way. So you know a lot about my people, but I barely know anything about you. Like who you're looking for at Starlight Rise? Uh, he's a uh, fugitive. Come on, that's all you've got? Let's just focus on getting to the tower. So mysterious. Let me turn off these these HUD reminders. We don't need these now. Just needed those for the boat. I don't think I can pull that. A little bit of loot. Something's roaring in the distance. A water wing. The other day, I saw the tower shoot down an entire flock. Poor things crashed into the sea south of Fleet's End. I've never seen one before. That tower's gotta go. Hey, Jerry, thanks for the super. You gotta run out for a bit. You'll be listening on your car phone. We'll drive carefully. Hopefully, you can drop back in later. Oh, we got a slaughter spine here. Oh, like a geyser. Oh, the auto pickup's pretty nice. You just run by stuff. Did it want us to investigate this? Yeah. It's like a sunwing, but the crest on its head's different. Before the tower went up, we used to see them diving off the coast all the time. So the tower can't get us down in here, I guess. I assume our new max level is 60, like at Frozen Wild We're getting close added to the tower. 10 levels as well. Last time I was there, I didn't get very far in. We'll find a way. 
twinge I'll go for at least another hour probably Some kind of machine growth. What? Haven't seen that before. Kind of looks like an spawn egg. eggs. Huh. There's a machine inside. There's a machine inside. Here we go. Ugh. It hatched. Oh my God. dude. How cool is that? Weak to shock? They're like insect swarms. That's so cool. They're really weak. Where's their bodies? You don't get to loot their bodies? Oh, there's another one. They don't leave a body. They just kind of blow up when you kill them. weird pretty cool that's very unique we don't have anything else like that in the game a small machine produced by a bile gut to support its resource acquisition so is a bile gut another new machine then its primary function is to retrieve and deliver resources An arc cell and a body. You can detonate. Oh, that's how we were killing them so quick. So their shock arc cells will be detonated by shock ammo. Yeah, bile gut sounds pretty nasty. We're gonna have one to of find one eggs. of those. Okay. Those so definitely you don't, weren't here last time. You don't auto pick up this stuff. You still have to manually pick up that. But like I was auto picking up those rocks. Just getting started. Let's get this done. So he's gonna blow up. And he shocks the other ones. And then they blow up. So they're, they're really simple to kill. Just gotta hit them with some shock ammo. There's a ton of them here, though. Ugh, yuck. Those eggs are everywhere. I've got a feeling we're about to find out what made them. Let's oh, move snap. in. Carefully. So you can, like, blow them up even just right here. I think you gotta let them start hatching a little bit first. See, but the danger is they chase you, you know, so they could, uh, if they blow up right next to you, then they'll shock you. Oh, snap, that's the bottom. Whoa. Level 42? See what you got then. What is it weak to? Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Oh, it's a giant frog, dude. That was one of the things we wanted. So there's another variant. We have to find another variant. Paris, can you use a shock arrow on these with a fixed value of shock buildup? What do you mean? Like a, like a low value? So this guy's weak to fire and frost, strong to purge water and acid. He has a neutral to shock. So you could potentially shock him with all of his uh, little egg spawns. Metal bite sack, adhesive sack, egg launchers, detachable. 
Containers, sparker on the back, two sparkers on the back. Fortified container. So I assume there's an apex variant of this as well. Holy, it can jump. Oh, Whoa, man. We've got a jumper. <laughs> I love it already, man. Wow, he just like puked out of that me too. Oh, that was one of his, oh, that was one of his like, corrosive like bombs. Okay. Can we scan this? Egg mine. I don't want to play with him. Whoa. I think I ran into some of the bombs and he attacked me at the same time. You can't see it. Like, it just jumps out of your field Whoa. of view. Big ugly machine alert. We'll have to deal with it to get into the tower. Let's see what you got then. You're on. Make your move. So it's weak to frost. Here we go. Look at him jump. Watch that acid. Just four at a time. Holy, he's fast. See, I kind of want shock arrows to hit those cannons. Chain reaction. It's useful. I think that's got a swarm of tiny friends. Too many friends! No! Oh my god, when he jumps, it's so high, dude. Wrote a uh, like a heat vent. I mean, a, uh, whatever these are, you can ride these up like the tornadoes in the desert. Oh, this is complicated because they're just all swarming you. on that AOE is huge. Look at his tongue attack. This thing is no joke. Especially with these little guys driving me crazy. Thank you, Seiko. I think we got most of the little guys.
keep going for the wrong frost arrows because I swapped them around. This is like hectic, man, with all these little guys. Sorry, it's nighttime too. I wish we were doing this during the day. Oh, the auto pickup. The auto pickup for berries during combat is pretty clutch. I just auto picked up a berry. Hold still. really going to slow him down at all. I love having the geysers. That's pretty sweet. Holy cow, the tongue is long, dude. Giant yeah. frog machine. Man. Good fight. Come so on. we just got. The I found is this we one. got a legendary weave from that. I'm gonna have to add this to the weave list. This might be unique to this machine loot. So elite deployment. Oh no, we could buy that before. Wow, got sack webbing. A bunch of volatile sludge. That's pretty nice. Geysers are sweet. Up we go. Look at this lava over here. I'll wait here for you. Yeah, just one second, Seika. One second. I think you'd die pretty quick if you went in that. Oh. Oh. Data point. Guardian. I was giving me the prompt so you can auto pick up berries like you just run by that that's pretty clutch what oh, did they enhance the flashlight how come it's only coming on over here that's pretty sweet it's just automatically coming on for some reason you don't auto pick up ridgewood you're back. i don't know why the flashlight Let's isn't move. on out here though maybe it's only when you're like near buildings 
I'll have to warn our patrols later. Doubt that machine was the only one of its kind. Feels like every day there's something new that's trying to kill us. I know the feeling. Through here. Just gotta get across. Think you can make it? Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. This is as far as I got. I couldn't find a way to get further up. Let me take a look around. Always look up. There we go. You made that look easy. About your fugitive, I need to know who we're dealing with. It can't be a coincidence that he and my people are both at Starlight Rise. His name's Walter Lord. He's a Zenith. It's what the Quen would call a living ancestor. A living ancestor? But that would mean he's been alive for centuries. Yep. Tides take me. You're serious. Yeah, how come these Quen didn't like I think Aloy was so back right away. Do only the Diviners know what the Ancestors look like? And we just haven't talked to a Diviner yet? Right, we came up from down there. Atticus, yeah, let me just get up here and I'll show the skills menu again here for anybody that came in late before the stream crashed on us. So every ranch got a new Valor Surge and two new active skills. So you've got Warrior's Vigor here for the melee tree and a couple of active skills. I'm not going to go through them all again, but you've got something unique for every tree, which is pretty sweet. That's just an alternate way we could have come up. Well, they're giving us some jumping puzzles here. Hey, Twinge, thanks for the super. You got to head out. No worries. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoy playing later. Up here, I guess. Do a backwards jump. Oh, well, uh, there you go, Seika. Thanks. Get that vent open. I gotta be in range first. So, the other Quinn I met, they uh, recognized me. I, I look like one of your ancestors. But I guess since your diviners are gone, none of your people here made the connection. There you oh. go. Yeah, those of us left are just sailors and soldiers. So only the diviners know what the ancestors look like. How's this not? Can't pull that. I might be able to open that if I grapple to it. Have to be quick though. Oh, sweet. So you have to she grapple flies, those. She fights machines, and she has fancy moves. Sam, I'm not sure what you mean by a 
what is a spoiler stream? You mean a spoiler alert in the name of my stream? Well, I think it's pretty clear earlier. what the stream Might have is. More done by now. I bet you must be pretty important to your tribe. I grew up an outcast, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm better off without them. And from what I saw back at the settlement, maybe you would be too? I am one of the chosen people. Not some weak-kneed sailor who abandons ship when the seas get rough. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I am one of the chosen people. Nice shortcut. I'll find another way over. Uh, Mix, I announced the giveaway I winners in a community post top. yesterday. Then we can find a way to shut the tower down. On YouTube and on Discord and on Twitter. So if you want to know who won, you can go check that. Sounds like the tower's found another target. Tower downed another machine. Can't wait to shut it down. I hope the stream isn't lagging for you guys. For some reason, my like live preview that I get on YouTube has just been frozen this whole time. But I think you guys would be yelling at me. I think you'd be yelling at me if it was lagging. Another dead water wing. Looks good to you guys. Completely fine. Thanks. Appreciate the feedback. I'm glad it's not uh, lagging anymore. I'm sorry we had that issue before. I was doing test streams for like 45 minutes beforehand just to make sure we were solid. And then, of course, something weird happens. Made it. Look at this, this thing. definitely looks like something Londra would have built. Whoa. Okay. But how do we stop it when part of it's way up there? I'll show Let's you how, Seika. We just put a drill spike right here. I mean, uh, right here. <laughs> Never seen anything like this, but there's got to be a way to stop it. Jonah, first stream you've seen in more than 1080. I hope it's. I uh, hope it looks good. Hope it looks crispy. I'm gonna upload a 4K version of this. Okay, what's back here? Afterwards, my computer's humming away recording it right now as we stream in 1440. And the 4K version will have just the game, no face cam and stuff. So if you want like a, a more immersive experience, you can go for that. Hey, Loy. love these. They love keeping you on the edge when you're climbing around. Oh, you can bounce shredders off it. Like how we found a few streams ago, you can do you can bounce the shredders off the energy doors in the cauldrons. It's probably the same type of asset on the back end. Never a good sign when the game gives you some free health potions. <laughs> you know something's bad coming. Search for a way to disrupt the weapon. Some kind of access node? 
I might be able to override it. Override the control node. Look at this thing. It's crazy looking. It's like an eyeball. It's coming down. Aloy, I truly hope you've enjoyed this tower. I set it up just for you. Oh, great. A recording from Londra. Let it be a reminder that unlike my former colleagues, I'm one step ahead of you. Uh, oh, that doesn't look good. It's getting ready to fire at us. Get to cover. Oh, God. Supposed to stop this thing. Oh. Let me get it. All drugs fire. Defense drone has a weak spot. Hey, over here, you uh, weird, there. shiny, hovering Out crap. Up. It's got a power core on the back. I gotta get in there to destroy it. I think we actually have to get up there. We'll climb up. I want a different view. Of it. Be a good time to stop this thing. Just, just hold it, hold it down for a couple more seconds, Sega. I have full confidence in you. up kind of like the corruptors turn just a little bit i need to target the power core it's got two more power cores Holy cow. <laughs> I was trying to go for that higher grapple point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We put us up here. How are we supposed to stop this thing? Let me scan it. All drugs fire. Damn. Put this back. Okay, what's back here? Let's craft some arrows while we're down here. There. Out and up. Next, um, shredders are definitely viable on Ultra Hard. I mean, just sharp shotting. This is kind of the most viable method, I think. have 
an angle. Armor's too thick. Fence drone. Well, that didn't go exactly how I thought it would. It turned out okay. And now your machine can get us to Starlight Rise, right? Yeah. I saw it fly off when I crashed. I should be able to call it back. One step closer to finding my sister and the living ancestor you're after. But I should probably report to the Admiral first, give him some assurance that we've made progress. Okay. I'll meet you back at the settlement then. You know, I'm kind of glad you tagged along. Aww. I'm kind of glad we did too, Seika. So I still have all my champion tokens. Is not like other Quen. I just That's got more sure. champions tokens. And with the tower down, I could check out the area before meeting up with her. Maybe stock up on some resources while I'm at it. So it looks like it's going to let me just buy all these skills. Like I have a ton of skill points from doing New Game Plus runs. And it looks like I can just unlock them all right now. Upgrade the Valor Surges. I mean, I guess that's good. I suppose you earn the points. Mix, if the winners don't respond, is there a redraw? Um, yes, but both of the winners did respond, and I already sent them um, their prize. So the, the giveaway is definitely all locked up. But I'll be doing more giveaways in the future. Um... I don't know what the next occasion will be, but I'll definitely be doing them. I have fun doing them. I feel like it's something small I can do to give back a little bit. You know, I don't I don't do this full time yet. I don't make enough from YouTube doing I don't make anywhere near enough from YouTube doing full time to do full time. But uh I enjoy I enjoy doing the giveaways when I can. Closer, no difference to the Frozen Wilds. If you had skill points, you could get all... Yeah, that's true. So, I guess it makes sense. I just, uh... Kind of was hoping that we'd have to, like, work for him a little bit, I guess. But it's also cool we get to just try him out right away. There we go. I'm going to have to sit down and look through them all and think about them before I start using them. Oh man, there's another one of them down there. Recipe discovered shock capsule, purge water capsule, plasma capsule. So those were for one of the one of the weapon techniques, I think. Oh, I hear something. Oh, is this Brimshine? Yes. Some kind of crystal. Oh, strong smell. Merchants might be interested, though. Strong smell, huh? So I guess this is the site. Is this the site we were down at before? I guess so. It just respawned, maybe. Or it spawned another one over here. So we've got a slaughter spine and a thunder jaw right next to each other over here. I assume there's a tall neck somewhere that we can use to uncover 
at least a chunk of the map. Let's head back down to the settlement, though. Oh, our Sunwing's back. There we go. Back to the skies. Nice. Check out all this lava. Can you dive, Sunwing? No. I noticed this though. See this glowing, these glowing lights? Those usually lead to like a cave, which it looks like there's one right here. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Probably a way you could climb into these, I would think. Yeah, there was a grapple point there. <laughs> what? Are we supposed to come out from the other side? It's not hooking onto that. ourselves I guess yes okay an elite silent strike weave nice and five brimshine I think we needed eight to buy stuff with let's look at this weave So this one was a weave, it wasn't a coil. Elite deployment increased drop shield capacity, smoke bomb capacity, and trap limit by one. Elite silent strikes increases silent strike plus, silent strike heal, and silent strike gain by one level. So that brings up the question, are our levels still maxed at four? Let me try something here. Yes, it looks like it. Yeah, so they still are maxed at four. Here's some brimstone. So when you pick them up, it said we had a... That was a fragment. I think we had a something else before. But it all it all just goes into your inventory as brimshine. Which is kind of interesting. It's not like the green shine. Where you'd have different types. You just get brimshine, it looks like. So these look like little brimshine caves. Unless... No, it doesn't look like this goes anywhere. Hmm? 
Next, why don't I sell my green coils and weaves? Well, first of all, the green weaves are unique in some cases, so I kind of want to hang on to them. Um, there's pretty much all of them have a blue variant, so you don't really need them, but I like to have them for testing things. Whoops. But green coils, I just moot him lazy, and I have 40 million shards <laughs> from the arena glitch, so I don't really need to sell stuff. Let's go back to Fleet's End. The Sunwing doesn't feel any faster to me. It feels the same. The time to head out. We were supposed to talk to an elder before, weren't we? Kaz, you gotta go. Thanks for checking out the stream. See you later. A word. So. Barbarian strolls into camp with Seika. The two of you promised to find our missing people. Given our desperate situation, I have little choice but to agree. That doesn't mean I like trusting our fate to a stranger. Who are you? Where'd you come from? My name is Aloy. As for my life story, does it matter if I can help? <sighs> I suppose it depends on the cost. Compliance has traded sights on Seika. By letting her gallivant off with a foreigner, I may have given her just enough rope to hang herself. It seems to me she can take care of herself, but I'll do my best to keep her out of trouble. Very well. To that end, is there anything you need to know? Let's learn about Seika. You seem to think highly of Seika. She is an exemplary marine. Persistent. Selfless, resourceful. Being stranded is a battle of attrition. Everyone wears down eventually, but not her. Not yet. I've come to rely on her more and more. She's our best hope for finding the missing. I'm sure of that. You said your situation was desperate. How did all this happen? We sailed from across the great ocean. Ours was the tribe's most important mission in a century. It was to be my swan song. Now it will be my epitaph. A typhoon struck us midway, cleaving the fleet in two. I know not what happened to the other half. Scattered, stranded, probably sunk. I don't know. There's always hope. <laughs> After we beached, I sent out scout boats to explore the coast. None returned. And I haven't the craft nor manpower to mount a search. First I lost half my fleet, now I've lost half the survivors, so don't speak to me of hope. And yet, Seika found a clue on that focus. You're just like her. <laughs> yet don't give up. So the other half of the fleet is not the Quen that we already knew on the main map. Compliance sure seems to have a lot of sway around here. Compliance officers are the eyes and ears of the Imperial House. It is their duty to ensure that the wisdom of our ancestors doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies. And so they ferried out the disloyal and disobedient inspections, interrogations, all in the name of security. All I see is one man causing a lot of unrest in your camp. Being liked is not part of Compliance's mandate. Assuming we ever return home, Rain will report on the crew to his superiors. That fact gives him a lot of influence. I can only pray that he uses it for the greater good. I'll do my best to help Seika bring back your people. 
if they're even still alive. Keep her safe if you can. No data points up here? I would have thought for sure there'd be some data points up here. Any new face paints? Oh yeah, some new Quen ones. The free diver is new. I think all of these are new. Or these three, I believe. I like the free diver. Let's put that on. I do the Imperial a lot. And the Light Weaver. Fine painting, if I say so myself. Is this easy? We gotta figure out a way you don't need. Christopher, can you spoil? No, don't spoil anything, dude. Why would you do that? We're, we're finding out live here on stream. Please don't. Um, I'm going to buy some of these frosts. I'm going to buy at least one of these. Because I'm using only purple weapons, so I kind of want to enhance my stuff a little bit. With new gear. Um... I'll buy an elite knockdown. Oh, you can only buy one. Okay. Well, I'll save the rest of my brimshine for now. So. I'm going to put the elite frost on here. And where's that knockdown one? Elite knockdown. So it does the same as a regular knockdown power plus 15, but then it also has explosive and projectile damage against the knockdown enemy by 12 and 15%. These deadly shorts. All right, let's see if we can use some of these new skills. So what are the melee ones, the active ones? Deal elemental damage with your sphere by attaching elemental capsules from your toolkit. So I've got a few drop shields here in my toolkit. It's like the same animation as a smoke bomb, but you drop down a shield. And I've got a bunch of capsules here. So we just attach that to our spear. Can I put that on like a tree maybe? No. Looks like I'm going to have to find a machine to put that on. Yeah, elemental abilities for melee is pretty sweet, I have to say. Because there's frost ones. I mean, look at what we have here. So we have fire, frost, shock, purge water, and plasma. I think that it just died on my spear, though. You guys heard that. I'll put another fire one on there. There's a sound effect. I think it, like... It went out. It expired. Warrior's Instinct. Increase your awareness of weakened enemies. Uh, 
I'm not sure what it means, increase your awareness of weakened enemies. Like it just shows the health bar, even on ultra hard maybe. Smoke bomb heal, that's pretty self-explanatory. Although it says we need healing smoke bombs specifically. She's tied down, shoot another rope to instantly tie it down again. Can't try that right now. Uh, we can try that. Shoot while gliding, like automatically. That's the grapple one we've seen in the promotional material. Craft and deploy drop shields. Less inaccurate while you're walking or crouching. Grapple launch from the flying mounts. So listen for this capsule on my spear to expire. I think it'll do it here in a second. You can see it on... Yeah, see, it just fell off. It's on the ground there. So they only last for a little bit. So if I glide, and then I shoot, or aim, it just automatically cancels my glide for me, so I don't have to do it. Admiral says you can trade. Let's. Doesn't look like it auto deploys again for you though. The capsule has a status effect indicator. You mean like when you apply the I element? Do what I do. Yeah, so it's just, I think all that that active skill does is it lets you come out of the glide by just aiming, by just ADSing with L2. Hey, Jerry, you're back. Welcome back. Um, let's see the sharp shot bow drawing while walking. Well, that was with focus shot. Hang on. More accurate? Yeah, that's way tighter than it was. It used to be like a huge circle when you were moving. So now you can do kind of like moving sharp shot shots. Can't use it while sliding still, though. Kind of does the same thing while jumping or falling, but then it gets tighter when it comes in, once you're on the ground. Paris, the frog machine is the bane of my existence. This shield is still up. I think it's indefinite. You can just walk through it. It must be indefinite until it takes enough damage. times 66 so like 700 damage or so 700 something damage all right we need to go find seika again i paid for a form of art the frog was fairly tough jerry it was fairly tough. Mostly because it launches all these bombs and the little uh the little shock insect machines are swarming you at the same time. And it has a lot of AoE attacks. Okay, so shall we get going to Starlight Rise? Yeah, let's go. So what now? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Sake is getting on the Sunwing. A 
Up you go. <laughs> Something wrong? Of course not. <clears throat> oh, it's a little snug. I'll manage. Oh, shit! <laughs> Hold on back there. Starlight Rise is just across the water. I guess we'll see if this living ancestor has something to do with my missing people. Look, once we get into the ruin, we might find data that your focus model isn't able to make sense of. I'm sending you an update so you'll be able to see what's going on. Oh, thanks. You sure seem at ease with the focus. Is that why your tribe made you an outcast? No, not exactly. They cast me out when I was born. In fact, everything I've done, including learning to use a focus, was uh, in spite of them. Sounds familiar. It gets easier, you know. What? Clinging to the back of a sunwing? That too. Just worry about steering this thing, okay? Sure. Down on the beach. Those are some of our missing scout boats. It looks like there's a lot of construction on the hillside. That's what Divine of I saw. Let's try to retrace their steps then. They'll set us down. There's another bile gut over here. Is that a new machine? Hope, oh, did we just leave Sake up there? She's just up there by herself. You miss me? Let's just go. <laughs> this is great. Solid ground. Thank the ancestors. Okay, we should follow your people's trail. See if we can figure out why they were here. Looks like they left some equipment behind. Oh, snap. We want to be on the wrong end of this. Quen Navy weapon. We use them to build rope bridges. And perimeter defense. Sam, there are new weapons. We were looking at them earlier. Can I? Huh. I think I can climb up there now. Wait, you put grapple points on it with this? That's interesting. I would not have guessed that. Cherry the frog is a bio gut. Clamber jaw. The list of tore straight through the machine's armor. This bolt looks pretty sturdy too. My people had to fight while they built all this, but they kept going anyway. Let's stay on their trail. Oh, Sam, you meant like totally new weapon classes? Um, there still could be. We're only a little ways into the DLC here. See, there's the bile gut. Too far to scan it. Oh, here's another one. Just do a different like jump over things there. We need to get these launchers off of it. I can launch 
launch off the sunwing, right? Yes. Thank God we're not fighting both of them at once. Where are you going, dude? Come back. far. Come back over here. Don't you want to play? Slows them down noticeably, I guess. machine muscle you get from them. Makes sense since they hop. Level 51. Okay, so yes. Now we have 710 max health. The egg launcher is just giving me shards. So I assume we can go to 800 max health at level 60. Just like Frozen Wilds. Explore the excavation site. I think we need to go up here. People had a big operation here. But why? I'm not sure. But I bet Laundra's involved. Well, looks like they set up some ladders to get up to that excavation. But the path's broken now. We'll have to make our own way up. That's pretty cool. Nice climber. I, uh, I got you to her. Can you put them on machines? I want to know. I have to pull that up.
There's a door up there across the chasm. Let's see if there's a way up. I think we're gonna have to pull this up, Seika. <laughs> this alone for now. I've got to get Seika up here first. We can All use this right. ballista, but the crane won't stay up unless I hold it in place. Let me lift it. I'll hold it in place while you shoot. Oh, Seika has to do it? The way up looks broken. Maybe the clamber jaws did it. Oh, she's a beast. She's pulling that up all by herself. Go Seika. That's as high as it goes. Where are we trying to get exactly? Just up to this rope here. Do it. Let's get climbing. Okay, letting her go. That thing was heavier than it looked. <laughs> I'm surprised you could lift it. Making progress. Yeah. Right into yeah, the uh, Ralph, the abandoned ruin. Infinite jumps have been patched out, so you can't do the duplication glitch anymore. Your people put a lot of effort into getting in here. Almost like they were after something. Or someone had a knife to their throats. We'll find your sister. Don't worry. You don't have to comfort me, you know. I'm fine. I... I want to help. data point here someday I'm gonna have to go through and read all the data points can we polecaster that there's nothing for my polecaster to latch on to fell all the way down there. Oh, Climber Joss. No. Stay alert. Bring him on. No machine stopping me. Clamber Jaws in a cave. That doesn't sound like fun. Sign. This is definitely Laundra's old headquarters. Down there. What is that thing? Let's find out. All this must have More been brutal to excavate.
recording of Landra from before he left Earth. Regarding the slipstream engine, my engineers tell me that even in the event of an accident, they can contain the fallout. But they don't grasp how effectively my enemies can harness public paranoia. That's the real fallout. I'll be right back, guys. All right, let's use this control panel. It's a prototype for a rocket engine. It never got off the ground. The way it was designed made it too dangerous. Dangerous how? Um, like it would poison everything in a thousand mile radius if it got used. Oh. Let's keep moving. So this engine, it was for traveling to the heavens? The Diviners say the Ancestors could do that. Yeah. Landra launched ships into space to search for resources. But why dig all this out now? We should keep following the trail. Okay. Whew. Getting hot in here. Lava? Oh, the ruins split in two. But the Gwen pressed on. Oh no. Dang. Shrooms. <gasps> Looks like some kind of construction accident. This was Lena from the galley. We weren't exactly friends, but she didn't deserve to be worked to death. How could an ancestor do this to my people? Knowing Londra and his kind, I can't say I'm surprised. We better find a way up and across. We'll need to make a path. Anything back in the corners? Doesn't seem like it. Another blister. Maybe we can use it. I'll shoot this time. By all means. Shoot, take a shoot. I made you a handhold in the bridge there. Try and get to that ballista further up. Think you can make the jump? I can reach it. Yeah, we can make the jump, Seiko. Uh oh. I can help! Keep him still, and I'll try to put the ballista! <laughs> 
Oh, is she gonna put grapple points okay. on him? Just don't shoot me. Oh, she caught it with the ballista. Kill Seika, come on. That's the last of them. Gonna make a few handholds for myself, then I'll finish your path. Oh, you get a few handholds, huh, Seika? We had to use you know, one. This reminds me of target practice out at sea. My squad held a wager over who could hit the most marks. Winner wouldn't have to swap the decks. Let me guess, you won? Yeah. You learn fast. <laughs> So this like organization is called Heaven, I guess. That's a lot of lava. Everyone's practically turned into a volcano. Seika. Uh, excuse me? came from here, didn't we? Yeah, I looted that chest. Then we came out here. I feel like she should have put a grapple point in the middle here. But that, we don't have an angle on that. Oh, maybe we have to grapple on that side? Another ballista. Time to return the favor. Make a pass over here! No need to yell. I've, uh, I've tapped you into my focus. Whoa! Uh, hi! Uh, hi there. These two like each other, don't they? Okay. I don't know. I've never been one to ship go. Aloy, but... Seika does seem like the best match if there was going to be a match. Made it. Let's see where this leads. Watch out. More clamber jaws. I see him. Guess it's my turn to shred some machines. Oh. You think you can do better than me? We'll see. Okay, they definitely improved these. Get on the ballista. They're just gonna kill me if I. I could swap between the two, maybe. The thing is, you're just so vulnerable while you're using them.
That's all of them. You tied my ballista record. Not bad. Now, hey, mascot. Balthazar. You know what to do. Gifting 10 yep, memberships, guys. Thank you, Balthazar. That's very generous of you. All these new people get to be members. Really appreciate your support. All right, which way do we go here? Look at all these new members in the chat. Very cool. That's Guys, if you don't know how YouTube works with memberships, you have to go into your settings of your... Uh, you have to be logged in, first of all. Up. And you have to allow memberships to be gifted to you. Otherwise, you won't be able to receive them. Last bit. I think we need to use the other ballista, maybe. find my way over so all of you guys who are members you have access in the chat to some unique emoji i want to spam them all right now um my mod on discord plusle was nice enough to make those for us and you also have access to an exclusive channel on the discord server which the chatbot's been spamming the link for in chat as we stream here. Um, and what else? You get you get a badge next to your name to show how long you've been a member for. Think you can make it? Oh, just watch me. Thanks, Balthazar. We do have a really great community. The Horizon community as a whole is just outstanding and uh all you guys like over on discord and everything and on youtube here in the comments um are just so supportive and and kind i really appreciate it i think there's a lot of toxicity in gaming communities as you guys know and this community our community and the horizon community as a whole are just so much more mature i feel like and um willing to help each other and give each other tips. It's one of the things I love about Horizon. So thank you, Balthazar, for giving 10 people memberships. Not that they weren't already part of the community, but now they get to be involved on another level. Very cool. Um, closer, I think you have to turn them on per channel. Unfortunately, I hope YouTube changes that in the future, but I think you have to do it per channel. At least for the time being. Nico, I'm glad you uh, found my videos helpful. For God of War too, that's awesome. One lava filled Great to hear. Conquered. You did pretty well back there. We're, uh, not a bad team. Glad you think so. I always wanted a sidekick. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Aloy is not a sidekick, Seika. After you. Can't open doors without your sidekick, huh? Just giving you a chance to shine. <laughs> These two. All right, let's see where my people's trail leads. I'm gonna have to get Plusle to make us some more emoji because now so old. with those gifted Why 10 memberships, I think we're gonna, from this place? will we pass 30 no members question. total? Which means we'll have more emoji slots unlocked. Maybe we'll need a, uh, a bile gut emoji. The new machine. doubters whined that the city would never sell its precious landmark. The price was indeed <laughs> astronomical. But the observatory could have no better steward than I. Perfect headquarters for one whose vision extends to the stars. An observatory? A 
place where anyone could look at the stars. Until Wander took over anyway. <laughs> Jean. Uh, my wife's about the same way. She likes Horizon though too, so. But she's not into all the like stats and skills and weapon techniques and all that. She just loves the story. Um, Jeremy, you just started watching. How do the graphics compare to the normal game? Yeah, I think things are a little more detailed. Um, there was definitely a lot more like smoke and fog that was really high quality, like around the the lava where it was going into the water and making steam and things Damn like it. that. Another one. And then I think in general there's just way more like plants and textures and things like that. So it's looking really good. It's not like a massive jump over the base game. I mean, the base game, in my opinion, is already the best looking game out there. So it's only gotten that much better. You know, it's awesome. Pharaoh Automated Solutions upped their orders for six different non-terrestrial minerals this month. Our inventory is running low. What are you up to, Ted? Promising new project? Or just another monument to yourself? Andra in business with Pharaoh. Why am I not surprised? So this Walter guy knew Ted, huh? Walter Laundra and Ted Farrow. I agree, Ayla. They sound like they'd be buddies. Or competitors. Crushed by rubble. Maybe when digging this out. I think his name was Kita. They couldn't even give him a proper burial. Thanks, Balthazar. It does continue to grow. We're almost, we're almost, I mean, by the end of the stream, if I go look, we might be over a thousand members on Discord. And uh, we're almost at 50k subs here on YouTube as well, which is awesome. I can't believe it. I mean, I, I started my channel um, less than a year and a half ago. Like, we'll be at a year and a half in June or so. And the first, by the end of year one, I, I was at 20k subs, and we're already, we've doubled that, and April's not even over. It's wild. I really appreciate everybody's support. Ooh, a weapon. The sky hammer. I'll put this to good use. Legendary weapon. New blastling. Let's look at this. An elemental one. Interesting. Frost, purge water, fire. Draw speed, stealth, overdraw, aerial enemy damage, multiple enemy damage. An Azeron weapon. They don't really uh, fine. try to connect the weapons and stuff to, like, the environment, you know? Like, why would there be a Nora outfit at this Quen settlement or an Azeram last lane? But, I mean, I don't mind it. It's just funny. I'll so get a good choice. Another Quinn camp. Where have they all? Oh. Aloy's face has gotten more expressive, Jerry. Yeah, maybe. The mo the mocap might be a little bit more advanced now. I could see that. They said the um, they improved like the lighting rig. I think that uh, follows the characters around. I thought I read it's that a somewhere. Mural. Painted by a Quinn? Yeah. I think so. Hey, Gene. Awesome. Thanks for becoming a member. Here. Very Doesn't cool. Matter. Let's keep moving. I appreciate the support. If you say so. So we need to pry this one open. This might have been mission control for Londra's space mining operations. 
quite a display. Yeah. Let's see what we can find. Jean, you've been watching my content for a while. Awesome. Oh, it's not embarrassing. But I'm glad you decided to sign up. I hope you can you should join us on Discord too. If you like talking with people about Horizon stuff, <laughs> Discord's the place to be. Look at these planets. Earth, moon. Mercury. That's Mars. Jupiter. The detail on these is cool. Look, you can even see Jupiter's storm. Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. Pluto's not a planet anymore. Poor Pluto. Is there a control panel in here we need to use? Oh, Paul, we're past 1,000. You were 1,003 on Discord. Awesome. A couple of them count as bots, though. So you might be 1,000, you know? What do we have to interact with here? I feel like there should be a control panel or something. Oh, okay. Locked nope. with a code. We'll need a way through. Maybe there's something on these consoles. Four digit code? Oh yeah, heaven sent. That's funny. Oh, now we get the consoles. Okay. Looks like we can access the hologram from here. Huh. There's data here. Let me see what I can access. A lot is corrupted, but it looks like some logs survived. I might be able to play them. I found Evelyn in the control room, booting through the logs for Alondra's passcode. Not sure how she got past security, but yeah. She's not doing so good. Just kept banging on Londra's door, begging him to save her. I told her he was gone, but she just kept wailing. They had to drag her out. That was the last recording. Everything else is from before 2065. How many logs did you find? Three. No, four. Four entries, four digits. The recording said this Evelyn was looking in the data for the code. Let's try to find it. Okay. That looks like that unlocked another console. So we just got the number, the year 2065. Maybe check that other console. Jeremy, welcome. Thanks for joining up as a member. Appreciate that. This display is an archive for Londra's asteroid missions over the years. It looks like I can navigate it with my focus, so I'm not tied to the console. Okay, playing the first log. Uploading it to your Focus 2 for reference. 2050. A year of triumph. That first mission silenced a thousand naysayers. When we acquired the asteroid, they held their breath. When we returned with the wealth of planets, they came crawling, hats in hand. Ah, that flight will always be dear to me. <laughs> and to history. So 2065 and 2060. See those rocks floating around the Earth? Or 50. I see data on them with the focus. Oh, we can. I think we need to scan the asteroids. 
This is the year the log mentioned, but there are two numbers. Which one is for the code? He mentioned the flight. Sounded like it was pretty special for him. Must be the flight number, then. Yeah, that could be the first digit of the code. Not a bad start. Let me know when you're ready to hear the next log. So three. Okay, let's hear the next one. Accessing it now. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. What a great guy. No year in this log, just a mention of platinum. Okay. Data in that one. Do we just have to go through the years? HM3. That's corrupted. On to the next. Three. No data. Two. One of these asteroids must have had platinum. Right. Keep scanning till we find it. There's nothing on that one. Chromium, gallium. We have to find the asteroid that had platinum. Rhodium, nickel, gold, and iron. Corrupted. Data in that one. Corrupted. Iridium. Oh, platinum. This must be the right mission. But which number? Not sure. I'll replay the audio log. I've convinced the board the amount of platinum on that rock is worth the risk. Once we grab it, I'll make Evelyn a platinum ring so she can wear our success wherever she goes. Hmm. Don't think it's the flight number this time. Yeah. The log mentioned the amount of platinum. This is some real guesswork. Figure All right, so out? three, two. I think so. Let me know when you're ready for the third one. Ready. Okay, here it comes. Uh, the accident has disturbed the ants. Lawyers and publicists swarming to do damage control, carping about incalculable losses. Now what they don't see is that each death is a lesson in complacency, inspiring us to future excellence. He doesn't see his workers as people, does he? So what are we looking for now? Three, two... Yeah, the numbers and the data points are highlighted. So I think all the numbers definitely come from the data points. Lawyers, publicists swarming to do damage control, carping about incalculable losses. What they don't see is that each death is a lesson in complacency. It doesn't really tell us anything. Uh, the accident. 
Maybe one of these has an accident associated with it. Lawyers. Hey, that might be There's it. No mention of year or metal. We're looking for an accident involving miners. Okay. This one mentions miners. Eight people lost their lives, and Laundra shrugged it off like it was nothing. I'll leave it to you to pick the right number. So five. He probably doesn't care how many people well, died. Well, we've got three digits. Just one more to find. Guess so we'll know for sure when we plug them all in. Ready three, for two, the next five. Log. Let me know when you're ready to hear the next log. Let's hear it. This takes a Playing little bit of time. Now. My chief competitor tried to block me in Congress. But I'll have that cobalt no matter how many years it takes to dig out. Xiaolu lunar resources can stay on the moon. Everything else belongs to me. Okay, I think I know what to look for. All right, one second. There, I upload the last of the logs to your focus. Thanks. As soon as I find the last number, I'll enter the full code upstairs. I'm not sure what we're looking for here. Chief competitor tried to block me in Congress, but I'll have that cobalt. Silu, lunar resources can stay on the moon. Everything else belongs to me. Hey, Twinge, thanks for coming. Weren't you already a member? I thought you were already a member. Cobalt? We need to find one with cobalt. This one mentions the Lunar Company, but no Cobalt. Xiaolu and Cobalt. This must be it. So, three, two, five, three? Or maybe three, two, five, two. Or five, I mean. Three, two, five, three. Let's try that. the third number so he did care about how many people died then I think it's the fourth one tripping us up wow you actually did it three two eight five in case you guys don't want to figure that out later <laughs> this must have been Laundra's living quarters right at the center of where he worked let's see what we can find that relic. Is it some sort of old gun? Is that from Killzone? A gift from a so-called friend. A reminder to always watch your back. I wonder what that's about. Uh, what's this for? What is that for? It's some kind of award, so, I think. Lange's wife was pretty well known in her time. That's Strange a golden snitch, around. Sounded like they weren't on the best of terms at the end. This is a Hogwarts Love Legacy crossover. Make it hard to let go. Security logs for the facility. That's a recent entry. I'm growing impatient, Nova. Data retrieval is almost complete. I've primed the North Array for Beamcast. And you're acquiring everything from aeronautics and special ops, yes, including the files on MSP. Correct. There. Ready for transmission. It's a shame we have to revive that particular program, though. <sighs> Nova, darling, we'll 
very difficult task ahead of us. We can't afford to go soft. Uh, reduce your empathy matrix by 15%, please. Adjusted. Wonderful. Now transmit the files immediately so we can get the hell out of here. This place feels like a goddamn tomb. So, does he have his what own AI? Nova? The North Array sounds like a transmitter. If we can find it, maybe we can track Londra to whatever hole he crawled into. Sure, but what did he come back for? I'll explain later. Let's find a way out. Okay, but I'll hold you to that. All right, find our way out. This is really cool. This whole projector thing with the solar system. Okay, transmitter should be somewhere nearby. That big statue looks promising. Those machines are in our way. Gotta clear them out. play around with all the new skills and valor surges. Here we go. Have done it right there. He's knocked down. Shocked it. So you can't do the melee thing while they're frozen and falling out of the sky. Oh wait, she's gonna tie it down. Now we can do it. Right? Uh, I guess not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah.
that's my sunwing. Ooh. Plasma blast. Plasma still hurts a lot. <laughs> It's a mess of small machines here. Okay, transmitter should be somewhere nearby. That big statue looks promising. Those machines are in our way. Gotta clear them out. Not a volatile sludge. That sucks. sludge to do this though. That is a lot of fun. Another sunwing here. Oh, <laughs> get that geyser. Sure know how to 
All right, is that all of them? I think that's the last of them. Now let's take a look at that statue. That thing better have answers. It's a pretty messy fight with all these small machines. Flying ones too. Turn back on pretty quick though. They come back. Thanks, Nico. I play with the shredders a lot. What was going on <laughs> in that hologram back there? And why exactly did Landra come here? And what is he doing with my people? He used them to dig up this place to find some old data. Part of it has to do with something called MSP, which I've never heard of before, but the rest... I think he's trying to build a ship to get off this world and into the stars. Off this world? Why would anyone want to do that? Well... There is something you're not telling me. Oh, you're just like a diviner, full of secrets. Oh yeah? But what about you? The way you reacted to that mural back in the ruin? <sighs> Care to explain? Fine. I guess we'll both hold our tongues for now. <sighs> All right, look. The important thing is that we know where Landra went, and that's probably where he took your people. And your sister. You're right. Of course. I should report back to the Admiral before we go any further. I'll use the boat we saw from the air to return. Okay, I'll find you there later. Hey, we have a new ember. Um, I'm gonna get your name wrong. Baudishus? Hopefully I got that close, maybe? It was really fire Welcome, her. thanks for becoming a member. Telling her about Appreciate Nemesis. that. I, I can't do that to her, not now, not when she's worried about her sister. It, it's too much of a burden, right? For now, maybe I should focus on stocking up. I can meet Seika when it's time to pick up Laundra's trail. All right, guys. I think that's going to be a good place to stop the stream for today. Um, if you are watching this as a recorded video, then we're going to end the second part here. And I will probably pick up the whole series on like via stream, but it'll all go into the same playlist. So you'll still be able to find them in the same place. I just won't be uploading them as regular videos anymore. But we'll finish out the whole, um, the whole walkthrough of the DLC of Burning Shores via stream. Let me switch to my chatting cam here. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We had a lot of people on stream today. I saw we were, we were almost at like 350 at one point, I think. And Balthazar got us a bunch of new members. We had a handful of other people choose to join as members. That's awesome. Um, so if you were, if you've been here before or with this was your first stream, thanks for stop, stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed this sneak peek of seeing Burning Shores. Um, first couple hours of it. I think we've got at least, we've got a good chunk to go for sure, I would say. Um, again, I was able to play a little bit early thanks to Sony and PlayStation for sending me over a review code, which was awesome. Pretty much everybody within the next 
mm, six or seven hours or so around the globe should be in um should be able to play so there's some people like new zealand was actually able to play at like 6 a.m this morning my time um, which is u.s mountain time so you guys will be in the burning shore soon if you can't play because you don't have it yet or you have a ps4 or something like that i hope you enjoy my playthrough of it and thank you guys for checking out the stream today i'll hang around for a few minutes and catch up on chat here to see if anybody uh had any questions or anything again i apologize about the stream being so glitchy at the beginning um i don't know what was going on with the audio i think the file uploads we had going on at the house here were just definitely part of the problem but i have no idea why my audio just cut out that doesn't make any sense but i'm glad you guys stuck around with me to see the rest of it Your second name is Bo. Oh, you say it as Bodacious. Okay, gotcha. I'll try to remember that. So I'm really interested. I am going to play off stream here, guys. So I need to, you know, I need to play and I need to experiment with like the Valor Surges and the new skills and everything and the new equipment um, and gear to make videos because I definitely am planning on making regular videos like tutorials and guides like I like I do as the mainstay on my channel. So I will uh I'll be playing ahead but we'll keep doing the stream to keep up with the playthrough. And but this was totally I hadn't played at all before today. So it was really fun to do that with you guys with you guys live. Paris you're playing right now. Very nice. Beta Bra, you missed most of it, but you really appreciate the content. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you checking out the stream. Yeah, Gray, I thought the frog was cool too. That's a pretty cool machine. I'm going to have to figure out how to take it down. Definitely a new uh, master machine hunting guide for that one once I play around with it a little bit more. A Gamma, you have um, New Game Plus on the base game. You're working on improving your play style. Gotcha. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Maybe you can pick up Burning Shores at some point for yourself. Jerry, am I happy with the DLC so far? Yeah. When we opened up the machine catalog and I only saw four slots, um, I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping we'd maybe have some more machines. I mean, one of those has to be the Horus, right? And uh, one of them was the little flying guys whatever those were called so those are not a huge deal so it looks like we'll only have like two new machines to play with which is slightly disappointing but everything else looks awesome we'll have to get into the gear and everything um the story seems pretty compelling to me right now so i'm enjoying it uh beta brian no i did not get the water wing yet so that's something to look forward to on a future stream or video for sure we haven't gotten there quite yet i don't know when we will but i assume pretty soon yeah jerry that's a good point the water wing i guess would be the other slot well the frog so it's the water wing the horse the the bile gut i think is the frog and then those little flying guys let me let me pull it up see what they're called Yeah, Bile Guts the Frog and a Sting Spawn are the little flying guys. So, yeah, I guess it will just be the Water Wing and the Horus for the other two slots. We assume the Horus, right? I mean, I don't see how it wouldn't be at this point, but... Krulin, you're playing your second playthrough of New Game Ultra Hard. You want to help people if they are doing a similar playthrough? Do you have a channel or something that you're helping people on? Does the frog have an apex slot, Jerry? Yeah, I think it does. Let me see. Yeah, so I have, there's two variants. One is unknown right now. 
the original one's the bile gut. So here, I'll switch back. Yeah, so I assume we have an apex variant of this. There don't appear to be any variants of the sting spawn. And then we have the two empty slots, which we assume one is a water wing. Um, I scanned the dead water wings, but I don't think that'll count for the notebook. It didn't before. So we'll probably have to scan a living one, and then the Horus is probably the last slot, right? But I suppose there could be other variants maybe here. Uh, we don't have any unknowns. Of other machines, of original machines. So I guess not. Yeah, so if I guess if I had one point of disappointment at right now, it's that it doesn't look like we're gonna get many new machines, especially not big ones. The bio gut seems like the only big one that we'll get to fight. Um but I mean everything else seems pretty sweet. So Jeremy, it's hard to tell if it's the same size as the Frozen Wild. Um, I'm going to guess, I mean, this map looks more complex because of all the islands and stuff. But it looks maybe roughly the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the Frozen Wilds. Um, but the thing is, like, the Forbidden West map is also only slightly bigger than the Zero Dawn map, but there was so much more to do. So I'm assuming we'll kind of get the same thing, right? Like... We'll have uh, we'll have a lot more to do in a in a smaller area or the same size ish area. It looks like we can fast travel back to the mainland if we want to right now. So even though it's a disconnected part of the map, it seems like we can just go back whenever we want, back and forth. Let's see, did I miss anything up here? I'm looking forward to checking out all those new coils and weaves and stuff too. It seemed like there was a lot of them. And just generally exploring this new map that we have. Z water wing? Oh. You just mistyped that, I think, Cherry. Yeah, I think we I think it would make sense to be able to take the water wing back. We'll have to see when we unlock it, but I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. I appreciate everybody stopping in, checking it out, burning shores a little bit with me early. Um, and if you're gonna go play, I hope you enjoy it soon. It's very some people are already playing and it unlocks very soon for many others so thanks for stopping by the stream today guys i will see you on the next one later